Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. Just kidding, we're not in the garden. We're actually uh, sitting on one of my friend's front porch and today we're going to be painting a garden gnome. I know this is totally just not what you expected from this channel, but here we are. Uh, this video will also be posted on the secondary channel uh, where I do other kind of non-garden related stuff. So if you want to do me a favor and go subscribe over there, if you would like, only if you'd like, uh, it would be much appreciated. So let's get on into this. Someone sent me this, one of my friends sent me this uh, back in December. And yes, technically it says it's for ages 8 and up, but hey, I'm ages 8 and up. So we're going to just go for it. Um, it's a gnome. He's pretty cool. He's got a little backpack full of mushrooms that he's carrying around. And uh, once we get this thing open, it's well packed in styrofoam. And this thing is a very, I guess, I assume it's concrete. It's very, very heavy stone. So I assume it's just concrete. But it also came with one paintbrush, which admittedly is kind of a big paintbrush. Uh, I would have liked it if the paintbrush was a little bit smaller. I realize it's for kids and their fine motor skills aren't that great, but I think an, an eight-year-old would have better fine motor skills by this point in time. Or at least, you know, have the option there. The paints we have are these little, uh, you know, very old school kind of paint by numbers set of paints. Overall, I had a really enjoyable time painting this gnome. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Uh, that's why I love my friends know me so well. There's something very just therapeutic about sitting down in the sunshine and painting a gnome on a warm late winter day before it gets cold again. And I really enjoyed myself. I decided to make my gnome uh, pink and green. That was more the result of determining which paint colors were dried up that that decision came about. Um, before you start painting, or if you're doing this with, like, with your kids or your grandkids or something, I always want to make sure to crack open the paints because I'd say half of these paints were completely dried out, which was a total bummer. The ones that weren't dried out worked really, really well. Thankfully, the white wasn't dried out. Um, I used a lot of white, and the green wasn't dried out. But the colors, the brown was really dried out and the black was really dried out, which is why um, his boots and his belt and everything look a little bit wonky. Also, when I was painting his face, I realized that I had to kind of mix it with water to try to get any pigment out of the dry color, just any pigment at all. And when I went back to try to do a second coat, it kind of got a, this darker smudge on his cheeks. So now his cheeks are kind of jacked up looking, kind of looking like he's got rosy cheeks. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, but just, you know, something to keep in mind if you are going to, you know, give this one your best effort if you're someone who's a little bit more meticulous like me. I'm sure if you're doing it with the kiddos, it doesn't matter. It's going to be looking crazy and cool anyway. So uh, I really like this one. I think it was totally worth doing, totally fun just to check out. They have apparently a bunch of other designs as well, which I'd be kind of interested to see and experiment with. Once we painted this thing, and I say we like you were here, you weren't here, but once I painted it, um, the instructions say to bake it in the oven at 225 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, and that's what I did. I assume that this makes it so that the paint is no longer washable, I hope, so that we can put him out in the rain. Even so, I was a little bit unsure. The baking said it was supposed to change the color of it, make the colors more vibrant. I guess I can see that. I don't know if the camera is really picking it up or not. Still, I think he looks pretty good. I did end up going back through it uh, with a permanent marker and fixing his eyes because his eyes were a little bit uh, crooked looking just because I had done them. I had painted them with that huge brush. To finish it off, I actually ended up using a paint setting spray just to make sure that he would really was like really waterproof because I didn't want to set this guy out free into the wild and then have a rain wash him naked. So uh, I put a setting spray on there and I found a nice woodland place where I thought he would be happy and uh, that's about it. I hope he has a really great adventure out in the woods living with the squirrels and everything out there. Uh, this was definitely fun. I would definitely do it again. Uh, let me know what you think. Have you ever painted a gnome? 
Do you like gnomes? Do gnomes creep you out? Uh, let me know all about it down in the comments below. I hope that you are having such an incredible day. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting the channel and for visiting Patreon and for everything. It really does mean so, so much to me. I hope that you are having an absolutely incredible day. I hope it's sunny wherever you are and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.